The executive chairman of IPP, Dr. Reginald Mengi, gave the challenge in Kampala, Uganda, during an award presentation ceremony to Young Entrepreneurs, which is organized by Young Business International, Barclays Bank, and Enterprise Uganda, whereby he gave an example of his own experience of how he started poor until he became economically successful. And I'm not ashamed of saying these things because I want some people to know that poverty is not a problem. Poverty is a challenge. Some people don't seem to understand the difference between a problem and a challenge. For me, perhaps I should put it very simply. A problem is something which sits on your back. And sometimes you find someone walking with his shoulders down. You're asking, what's the problem? You say, I've got problems. What's wrong with you? I've got problems. Now, and he cannot get rid of that weight, that problem, even in the night. He can't sleep properly. He will turn this way after a while, that way, because of the problems. But challenge is different. Challenge is something, say, well, you know, my friend, challenge, I'm going to pack you. I'm going to pack you, I want to sleep. We meet again tomorrow morning. So you don't feel the weight of the challenge, but you feel the weight of the problem. Dr. Mengi called on young entrepreneurs to find wealth through legal means instead of through corruption. Blessed wealth is wealth. One characteristic is that you earn it lawfully and ethically. The second form of wealth, you have it principally through corruption. But with the blessed wealth, there is also a second characteristic, and that is you use part of that wealth to help the needy. Because part of the wealth that is in your wealth was meant for another person who needs it. So, blessed wealth is wealth which you also share with the poor and the needy. The winner of the Young Entrepreneur Award for 2016 was John Lezama from Peru, whereby the award was presented by the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economy of Uganda, Matia Kaseja. So, who is going to save me as the minister in charge of running this economy? and save this country, it is entrepreneurs. I look forward, I look forward to creating as many entrepreneurs as possible so they can create jobs for these youth. And as I told you, I saw a sample of what, what can happen in this country if we don't address this question squarely.